So, you want to know how to set up your hard disk drive external storage and manage your PS5 solid state drive storage while at the same time getting the best out of both devices. Hi, my name is Kajami and I'm going to show you exactly how to do all that by first showing you how to set up your hard disk drive external storage. Now that you have your PlayStation 5 and your external hard disk drive ready to go, first thing you want to do is power down your PlayStation 5. For recording purposes, I have mine completely disconnected. Behind the PlayStation 5, you will notice two USB 3.0 plugins. You're going to want to take your hard disk drive and plug it into either one of the USB 3.0s. Once you have done that, it's time to power on the PlayStation 5 and get ready to format. Once you've connected your external hard disk drive to your PlayStation 5, it's time to turn it on. Once you turn it on, a menu will pop up asking you to format your hard disk drive. Select OK and another menu will pop up giving you a warning that any information that you have on your hard disk drive will be erased during the formatting process. Make sure that you have any PlayStation 4 saved data uploaded to the cloud before you format this because it all will be erased during the formatting process. Once you have it uploaded to the cloud, then format your hard disk drive and re-download your saved data from the cloud back to your hard disk drive to ensure that you lose no progress on any of your PlayStation 4 games. Once you have formatted your hard disk drive, which may take up to several minutes, it's now time to go into your system storage. To access that, locate the settings in the top right hand corner of your home menu. From there, go on down to storage. From here, you will see your console storage, which is which is your solid state drive from your PlayStation 5, and your extended storage from your hard disk drive that you've recently formatted and connected. From here, you can see the size of your extended storage, as well as how much free space is left on it. Also note that there is an option here at the bottom that says always install PS4 games to extended storage. You can deselect it to install your PlayStation 4 games to your PlayStation 5 solid state drive if you prefer, but as for me, I would rather for them to go into my hard disk drive because there's much more memory there. So I will keep that selected. Also keep a note that if you wish to remove your hard disk drive safely, there is an option to that at the bottom where it says safely remove from PS5. Doing this will save your hard disk drive from becoming corrupted should you just manually remove it without selecting this option. You will now have access to your games and apps on your external hard disk drive. From here, you can choose what you want to delete, or you can also move them over from your external hard disk drive to your PlayStation 5's solid state drive. You can do vice versa from your console storage. Go into your console storage, select games and apps, and you can choose to move from your solid state drive over to your external hard disk drive. That also includes your media gallery and your PlayStation 4 saved data that is currently on your PlayStation 5. But keep in mind that if you have any PlayStation 5 games saved to your PlayStation 5 solid state drive, that cannot be moved over to your external hard disk drive. Only PlayStation 4 games can be moved over to your external hard disk drive while also being on your PlayStation 5 solid state drive. Your PlayStation 5 games can only be on your PlayStation 5 solid state drive. Now I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to best use your PlayStation 4 games. Right now I'm in my solid state drive on my PlayStation 5 and as you can see I have Skyrim, Cyberpunk 2077, and Ghost of Tsushima, all PlayStation 4 games downloaded to my PlayStation 5. And the reason for that is my solid state drive performs much better than my external hard disk drive. And since these three games I am playing most of the time, I'm going to keep them downloaded until I get tired of them. From there, I'll just move them over to my external hard disk drive. Now you can choose to delete 
your PlayStation 4 games from your solid state drive and then re-download them to your external hard disk drive. But keep in mind that with a slow internet connection, downloading games to your external hard disk drive may take much longer than what it would take to move them over from your solid state drive to your external hard disk drive and vice versa. Let's say you decide to pick up a PlayStation 4 game that you want to go ahead and put on your PlayStation 5 because it's going to perform much better. You know you're going to get a lot less loading time and the visible quality is going to be so much better. Well, if you have it downloaded to your external hard disk drive, instead of deleting it and re-downloading it to your PlayStation 5, just move it over. It'll take about 30 minutes to move it back and forth. Whereas, depending on your internet speed, it could take up to... 30 minutes to the entire day. So in my case, I move my games back and forth because it takes no time at all. But now let's say you want to clean up your solid state drive storage just a little bit so you can get a little bit of extra memory. Well, I'm going to show you something that you may not be aware of. Go to your console storage and if you go to your media gallery, you will notice that for each time you complete a trophy, a video clip gets saved for up to 15 seconds. And that can definitely add up over time. If you look at mine, you will notice I have 3.6 gigabytes of trophy saves. And that's just ridiculous. So to delete these, go inside your media gallery. Go to your bottom left over here where it says select a multiple. And then go over here to your right where it says select all. And then if you notice, I have 219 selected clips. Go down to delete and you will be deleting all of your saved clips. And it's just that quick. And because of the solid state drive, it takes no time at all, as you can see. But next, how do you disable that? Well, it's actually quite simple. From here, just back out, go all the way down to your captures and broadcasts, go down to trophies, select it, go down to save trophy videos, deselect that. And if you don't wanna save your screenshots either, because this too takes up memory, Deselect that as well. Finally, one last thing to cover about your storage is a cloud storage. So in order to access your cloud storage from the home menu, just go up to your top right where it says settings. And then we're going to go all the way down to where it says save data and game slash app settings. From here, you'll have access to your save data on your PS5 and your save data on your PS4. Select your PS5 and you can notice that you can copy your save data to your console or you can delete it from the cloud storage. And same thing with your PS4. If you have any save data on your PS4 that's uploaded to the cloud storage, you can now download it from the cloud to your PS5. And that's pretty much all there is to it everyone. Uh, if you found this video helpful, be sure to bump that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you have any tips and tricks yourselves, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. And if you have any more questions, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with an answer. Other than that, as always guys, game on.